Now this is obviously it's an exaggeration, but uh, heat is something that has to be controlled, and especially with high carbon. Uh, the more you can control the heat, the faster you can draw the wire, and obviously then the more you can produce. Now, th this is an example. Uh, I recently, maybe a year or so ago, walked into a, a Mexican wire mill, and they had this is the way they were drawing their wire. Uh, this is staged, obviously, but th they had this amount of wraps. Any, if you go into your wire mill and you see this amount of wraps, you are probably not optimizing the speed on your machine. Now, the re there's only one good reason to have this fewer wraps, and that is because it won't run otherwise, and your operators have been pragmatic and saying every time they fill the block up with uh, wraps, it overlaps, breaks, tangles, or whatever, and this is the only way they can run. So there's the pragmatic side, and then there's the practical side. If you're running your blocks for this reason, you are creating excessive slip, and you are wearing out your blocks prematurely because uh, the blocks are designed to be either two-thirds or three-quarters full on the face to run optimally. That, that's where you get the uh, friction and, and the drive to move the wire to, uh, to the next block with a minimum amount of slip. Slip causes wear, slip causes grooves, slip causes marking. So if you walk through your wire mill and you see very few wraps like this on your blocks, there's probably a lot of improvement that can be made on your machine to include the speed, quality, and the life of your blocks. It probably should be more like this. This is a uh, slide. Uh, it's just not overly clear, but as you can see, it's, it's, this is an overkill. This is about 7 eighths of the block is covered with uh, wire drawing uh, with uh, wraps. <clears throat> 